to the esteemed management at Lean Cuisine. My name is Shane Burha, and I kneel before you humbly, broken and devastated, hoping with all of my being that you might take mercy upon me. I am a simple boy, don't ask for much. I wake up each morning, put in an honest day's work, and retire to my favorite reading nook on the back porch that overlooks a serene pond. In this little life, I've been lucky enough to experience both the mountaintops of joy and deep valleys of sorrow. I do not regret even my saddest days as they provide me with the perspective to fully appreciate my happiest days. Please, if you may indulge me for just a minute, I would like to dig a little deeper into some of those magical moments when joy sparked brightly all around me. I remember with vivid clarity the day I got my first wheelchair. At the ripe young age of two years old, I suddenly had a way to move myself about the world with absolute freedom. No more sitting on the floor, no more being confined to a stroller, no more being carried around by Ma and Pa. I was free and my world changed forever as I began to explore my surroundings with no limitations. It was beautiful. Vivid to you are my cherished memories of the day I met my lovely wife and life partner, Hannah. We held hands together at dinner on our first date, and I felt so secure, so completely at home with her, so dazzled by the lightness within her. I can summon tears of joy just imagining those early days of our love when my world was all wonder and yearning. Perhaps the most joyous of all my greatest days was the day I discovered perfection incarnate right here on earth. In the blink of an eye, my life was flipped on its head in the best of ways. I was shaken to my very core by the magnitude of this discovery. I'm speaking, of course, about the day I first discovered your lean cuisine, garlic chicken spring rolls. Lightning exploded deep within me, and I realized that up until in that moment, I had never been truly satisfied. Oh, the sweet, supple crunch of the fried outer dough, soft enough for even my diseased, ravaged mouth to bite into like melted butter. Oh, the steaming insides, packed with flavor, yet ever so tender. Never in my life have I so thoroughly enjoyed such a delicacy. They became my everyday companion, my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, my crutch, my abiding grace throughout the storms of life. I dreamed of sharing these garlicky treasures with my children and their children. And for the first time ever, I felt inner peace to honor the immense position that these little morsels held in my life. I gave them a name, my warmies. I can still taste them, my warmies, even now. Like a memory dancing on the tip of my tongue. But if I've learned one thing in my life, it's that you can't have joy without suffering. And suffer I did. The nightmare began rather innocently. A grocery store, the freezer aisle, the lean cuisine section, an empty hole where my warmies usually rested. Another store, my nerves are tense, People must really love these delicate chicken spring rolls. Perhaps they were just sold out. New freezer aisle, Lintuzine. This couldn't be. A void where the warmies used to be. Now my heart is racing. Back to the car. A third grocery store. A larger one than the first two. I blast through the entrance. Darkness is pushing in on the edges of my vision and I can feel perspiration dripping down the length of my spine. This is sick. I am sick. 
I am growing numb and spit congeals on the edges of my lips as I salivate my way through the store. Please, please, please. I reach the link for the inception, and there, taped to the freezer, is a handwritten note, as if from a child. Five words. Five words is all it took to bring me to my knees. I retched upon the earth, and my body was wrapped by waves of acute pain. My most basic animal instinct took control, and I howled my sorrow to the sky. Five words. Garlic, chicken, spring rolls, discontinued. I will never get back the part of me that died on that day. Since then, I have come to see the trivialities of our existence for what they really are, devoid of meaning, unworthy of my energy, a silly little lie that we tell ourselves to keep moving forward. We all meet our end eventually. We all eventually end up like my beloved warm is, discontinued, forgotten, snuffed out before we even had a chance to shine our light in the world. I kneel before you humbly. I'm sure that you and your spring roll experts had a reason for your treachery. I just don't think I could stomach to hear it right now. All I ask is that you think of me. When you are crawling into your warm beds tonight and sleep lays its gentle hand upon your chest, you begin to fade into sweet blackness. Think of me. I will be right here and my mouth will be empty with love and despair, shame. I need all you to do me a favor. Lynn Fizzy cannot be counted on to keep producing warnings for the existence of their company. I need all of you to go to the store, buy up as many boxes of warnings <laughs> as you can. It's going to be a benefit for you as well because you're going to discover that they're the most delicious food that has ever been yeah. created. They're very important to me, and I cannot just you know, hope that they keep producing them, because if there is ever a day when I meander down the frozen food aisle, arrive at the lean cuisine taste, and scan, 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 and find that the warmies are no longer there, I'm going to drag my chair through every aisle of that store. I don't mean up and down the aisle, I mean straight through each shelf. I will break everything in my path. If one of these disappear, please buy them.